Motorola Moto Z2 Play Review Design Motorola Moto Z2 Play thinner than the original Moto Z Play, but with that same unavoidable Moto Z look the blessing of support for Moto Mods can also be a bit of a curse. On the one hand, you're giving a phone support for a growing body of add-on hardware. Letting users augment the handset with a heavy-duty camera, extra battery capacity, or maybe even a digital projector. But on the other hand, you're locking your phone into being a particular shape and size, with Moto Mod support inherently linked to the physical makeup of a phone. While that does give Motorola some wiggle room to experiment with handset thickness, other aspects of the phone's design, from that utterly flat back panel to the prominent, centered camera bump, are set in stone. As a result, the Moto Z2 Play looks and feels a lot like its predecessors, even as it strays a bit from the decisions that went into making the original Moto Z Play. Perhaps most notably there, Motorola's decided to give us a thinner phone this time around, with the Z2 Play's 5.99mm thickness, no Moto mods attached, coming in below the first gen 6.99mm. As a consequence, though, battery size also takes a hit, which we'll talk about just a bit later. Layout-wise, we've got a 5.5-inch screen dominating the phone's face. With a fingerprint scanner below and front-facing camera hardware up top, including a rear dual LED front-facing flash. The hybrid SIM tray, with support for microSD expansion, lives up top. And along the right side we've got the power button, as well as discrete up and down volume controls. Underneath we find the phone's USB Type-C port. And also, the analog headphone jack, a feature we got on the first Moto Z Play, but not the other Moto Z phones. On the back there's a camera that sure looks a lot like those on earlier Moto Zs. But that's hiding some new hardware within, and down below is the critical Moto Mods interface. By itself, the Moto Z2 Play is both quite thin and notably lightweight, coming in at just 145 grams. But neither of those will last for long, as the phone is just begging to have some Moto Mods attached. 